Sana here. Hopefully the camera is focusing or I'll be really sad. But um, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about my first semester with WGU. I said I was going to come on here and talk more about WGU and my whole time during the program. So this is what this video is. is talking about my first semester with WGU. I'm currently in my second semester. The first classes that I took with WGU was organizational, organizational systems, safety and regulation. Professional leadership and communication for healthcare, biochemistry, sucked. Health and wellness through nutritional science, medication dosage calculation, and introduction to nursing arts and science. And with that introduction to nursing arts and science was a lab. Um, and the lab was like three days and it was super simple. It just goes over like your basic uh, CNA skills and also like vitals and things like that. It was super easy. Um, for medication and dosage calculations, um, my tip for that class is that you have to know, in my opinion, I feel like the easiest way to pass that class is number one, knowing your conversions. Number two, doing dimensional analysis. It's way easier than memorizing all these different formulas. With dimensional analysis, you can solve literally any problem. It is hard for people to comprehend at first but once you get it and you just keep practicing with it it literally like clicks and when I say you can solve any problem you can solve any problem except for the BSA chart because that one has a specific formula so like I said um, that is my top tips for that I also have a video um, I'll have a notes coming like a cheat sheet for medication dosage calculations that'll be out in our nursing notes shop so I plan on putting that out soon um, so you can memorize the conversions and things like that and make it like 10 times easier to study for the class because everything that you need to know will be in that um, on that sheet so that's the goal is to get that out for you guys um, to make it super easy in terms of studying for that class so know your conversions dimensional analysis and then also register nurse RN on YouTube she has a video for dimensional analysis and for medication dosage calculations like a general like goes over like everything that you could possibly be tested on i think for nclex and if you know how to do every single problem on her video then you can literally do any problem that's on the oa which is the final exam to pass the class um for medication dosage calculation um biochemistry i have a video specifically for biochemistry i will link it down below um where it talks about um how to pass that class because it's probably the most difficult class in my opinion that i've taken thus far and um even probably in my undergrad at texas a and that's probably the hardest class um just because it's almost like you're a foreign language is being spoken to you and then all of a sudden it just will click but it's no telling how long it'll take for it to click but it'll click um, but it's a pretty hard thing that because you can't just like cheat your way through it or just try to memorize things You generally have to understand the content in order to pass. So Yeah, I have a separate video for that But that's probably the hardest class that I've taken especially the hardest class within my first semester And I'm currently in my second semester for me. There's a total of five semesters for the pre-licensure BSN program um, professional leadership in healthcare and organizational systems, safety and regulation were super simple. The organizational systems class, I took that within like less than three days. The professional leadership class, they had live classes that we had to attend and it was the only class with live classes. So that one, it only took, uh, I think it took with, I was done with it within three weeks or four weeks just because they had specific classes that we had to go to and the class wasn't over until you were done with those live classes and you turned in all your assignments. But it wasn't a difficult class, it's just mainly like participation and then turning in the papers and assignments that were required. Um, so yeah, wasn't, wasn't too hard. And then health and wellness through nutritional science, I've taken a ton of nutritional class, nutrition classes in my undergrad so that class wasn't difficult there's actually a facebook page for wgu where people like share their notes and what to study to pass like oas pas etc so there was actually a sheet 
that had a review for everything that you really need to know for that class and honestly I just studied that and took the OA and passed so honestly <laughs> the first semester was a breeze I know they say like the that's usually the easiest semester and then the further along you go in the program the harder it is so I'll definitely make a video on how number two is um, but I'm excited to get the program done with, to be honest. Um, I was like so sad about having to go back to school, but I'm also excited to just get my bachelor's in nursing and be done with it. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep, I thought I wanted to do my nurse practitioner, but honestly, I don't know. If I do, I'll probably do it through WGU, but most likely I don't think where I want my life to go is leading me in that direction. But I just wanted to say that I genuinely did enjoy my first semester and how things go. Um, I'll let you know how everything is going uh, for the rest of the semester. I ordered my scrubs for clinical. I ordered like the lab kit that they um, wanted us to order. And a lot of things were pretty last minute. So I would just go ahead and if you need to save money for like the chunk of, chunks of money you'll be spending right at the end of the first semester go ahead and do that I want to say like the scrubs is like just a little at like a hundred something dollars and then the lab kit is going to be like 200 and yeah so go ahead and have your money saved for that um and just have a job that'll also be flexible like save your PTO because you're going to need that when it comes to lab and when it comes to um clinicals so I really enjoyed it and I'll continue to talk about it uh, for you guys. And thank you so much for watching The Twin Diaries. My name is Sana, not Shauna. <laughs> and in the beginning of each video, if it's just one of us, I'll make sure that we put something in the beginning to let you know which twin is in the video because I know some people still have a hard time of figuring out who is who. So again, thank you so much for watching The Twin Diaries. I'm Sana. Subscribe and thrive. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Bye.